Yan Ru Ye Shou Yu Love and the other Qing Dynasty dramas, we always see the empress or other high rank consorts bribe the imperial ninnies and let them intentionally pay less attention to royal kids' health and education. Is this commonly happened in real history? In the Qing Dynasty, imperial women were not allowed to personally take care of her biological kids. After were born, royal kids were took care and educated by white nurse and nanny. In the Qing Dynasty, white nurse was called the Ru Mo, and the nanny was called the Bao Mo. White nurse and the nanny are kind of Mo Mo. They were married women and were selected from upper three banners Bao Yi family. Today, mothers generally stop breastfeeding when the baby is one year old. In the Qing Dynasty, no guide about one white nurse should stop breastfeeding. In Puyi's book, From Emperor to Citizen, Puyi mentioned. He stopped drinking breast milk until he was nine years old. Consort soldiers kicked his white nurse out from the Forbidden City. In my opinion, imperial white nurse and nanny intentionally hurting royal kids rarely happened. First, Qing Emperor wasn't an idiot. When the emperor was a little kid, he was took care by white nurse and nanny, so he couldn't randomly pick up nanny for his kids. Imperial household department had a series of process to select imperial white nurse and nanny. Second, in the Qing Dynasty, white nurse wasn't a temporary job. After royal kids stop drinking breast milk, white nurse generally didn't leave the Forbidden City. They became nanny and still took care of the royal kids. In the Qing Dynasty, when the princess got married, white nurse and her husband were a part of story. They stayed with the princess. And help the princess manage the family. According to the records in unofficial documents, Fu Ma, princess' husband, couldn't sleep with the princess without the permission of princess' white nurse. To get together, princess and her husband must bribe the white nurse. Third. In the Qing Dynasty, theoretically, every prince had a chance to become the emperor. Once the prince became the emperor, not only his white nurse, but also his white nurse's husband, could get titles and assets. In the Qing Dynasty, the emperor gave his white nurse the title Fu Ren, Lady, and assets. But only give assets to Nanny. Shun Zhi and Kangxi formally promoted their white nurse, and allowed those white nurses to be recorded in the formal official government documents. Started from Yongzheng, Qing emperors didn't promote their white nurse through public formal promotion process. After Qianlong, Qing empress didn't allow white nurses' promotion to be recorded in the formal official government officers. Shun Zhi had three white nurses: Li Shi, Piao Shi, and Ye He Le Shi. Li Shi got the title Yu Sheng Fu Ren, Lady Yu Sheng. Ye He Le Shi got the title. 左圣夫人 ，Lady 左圣，朴氏 was 
Shun Zhi's whiteness and Nanny. When Kangxi was a little, she as Nanny took care of Kangxi. Piao Shi got the title Feng Sheng Furen, Lady Feng Sheng. In Asian Chinese history, another Feng Sheng Furen, Qie Shi, was more famous. In late Ming Dynasty, Qie Shi and her lover Wei Zhongxian controlled the inner court and the court. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.